Good morning and welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I'm gonna to be leading you through a gentle practice to help you get out of bed and stretch and wake up our spine. So you can literally do this practice in bed before you get up, just as a really nice way to wake up the body and get you ready for the day. Or if you're already on your mat, of course that works too. That's where I am here today. And we're actually gonna start this practice lying on your belly. So you don't need any props whatsoever. You just want space, enough space to roll around. And from your belly here, you're just gonna bend. Let's start with the left so you can see a little bit better. Bending your left arm in at a 90 degree angle and then bending your knees in behind you, pushing into your right palm that's placed under your shoulder so that you can roll up and over into a little bit of a chest opener here. Another variation is you can try straightening out that left arm or you can just keep it bent underneath you. Whatever feels best for you this morning. Putting a little bit of pressure into the right hand so that we can try and stack our shoulders as much as we can and we're not still rolling towards our chest. So breathing into that space on the left side this is one of my all time favorite stretches to do first thing in the morning because especially for myself, I tend to sleep in a very rounded and closed off position in the shoulders. So this is just a really great way to open up the chest, create a little bit more space. Let's take one more breath here. And we're gonna go ahead and roll back onto the belly, re-extending the legs and we're gonna go right away to the other side. So now bending your left arm in, Right arm is at a 90 degree angle. Your right ear can come to the floor or your mattress. We're bending our knees in, rolling to the right side now. And again, stacking yourself as much as you can. So trying to get that left shoulder on top of the right. So we're not rolling in, creating that lengthen, that stretch in the front of your chest on the right side here. This side is a little bit tighter for me because I tend to sleep on my right side more than my left. So I just, I always notice that this shoulder has a little bit more tightness. As we do this, try to notice for yourself if one side differs from the other as we go through our practice. Let's take one more breath here, breathing into our chest. And we'll exhale to release, rolling back onto your belly. So extending your legs out behind you. You're just gonna bring your hands a little bit forward in front of your shoulders. Coming into three baby cobras, using your hands here. So on an inhale, just pushing into your hands, just lifting up as much as feels comfortable. Keep those shoulders plugging down away from your ears. And release. And now we're gonna walk the hands a little bit further forward. Maybe you wanna come onto your fingertips now. And then again, inhale, pushing up, finding that little baby cobra. Just go as high as feels comfortable. It's first thing in the morning, you might be stiff and not be able to go as far. And let's exhale to release. And then extending your fingers out even farther. Now definitely coming up onto your fingertips. Inhale, pushing up, finding that baby cobra. Maybe you're able to fully extend through the arms. And release, keep your hands where they are. You're gonna just bend your left knee in, coming up as high as it can here, reaching up towards your armpit. And then inhale, find that baby cobra again with that leg. So you might feel a little bit of a stretch in through your inner thigh here. And let's just hold this position, breathing. Two more breaths, feel your belly expanding against the mat or your mattress here creating space in that inner thigh. And now from here, you're gonna take your right hand, thread it under the space you've created on the left side and keep rolling in that direction until both shoulders can come anchored onto the floor. Your knee might lift. We're now in a lying spinal twist here. So anchoring the shoulders down so that twist is really coming from your navel and your belly button and just breathing into the twist. Let your leg relax here so it, again, there might be space between the floor and your knee, that's totally fine. What we're focusing on anchoring is your shoulders. And your arms can just come to a T beside you so you can really feel that anchor point. Up to you if you wanna bring 
your eyes in the opposite direction of your leg or if you just wanna keep them forward like I have here. And now we're gonna fully reverse the direction that we came. So your left hand is gonna reach up and over. Your knee re-extends out to the floor. And then we find that cobra once again. Inhale and exhale to release. Bring that leg back down to re-extend. We're gonna do that again on the other side. So bringing your right knee up towards you, towards your chest, re-extend your hands. On an inhale, breathe up, finding your cobra. Really feel those shoulders pushing down away from your ears. Take a second to find that optimal position for yourself and then hold it for three breaths. Feel that expansion in your belly. Feel that lengthening maybe through the inner groin on the right side. Shoulders keep pressing down away from your ears. And this time we're gonna take our left hand, cross it under the right, and this time rolling over onto the left side. That right knee might lift. We're anchoring our shoulders down. And just breathing here in this spinal twist position. If you are doing this on a mat, you might roll off slightly like I have here. I'm now a little bit more onto the floor, but that's all right. And then hopefully if you're doing this in bed, you've got enough space beside you that you can roll around and not be falling off the bed, of course. Let's take two more breaths here, really feeling that twist. All of that yummy work for the spine, really waking up our back. And we'll come back the way we came. So right hand reaches around, your right knee slides back on the floor, refinding that cobra position. Take an inhale to grow tall. Exhale, release your legs, re-extend back together, and we're gonna push up, finding a nice, easy child's pose. For today, let's bring the knees together and just let your spine curve over your legs. Up to you if you wanna place your arms above your head or behind you towards your heels. Just continue to breathe here. Let your hips relax towards your heels and feel that your spine is really curving. So counteracting all of that arching we just did in that Cobra series and the twists. Take one more deep breath. And use your hands to help push yourself up finding a seat, and you're gonna re-extend your legs out in front of you, so coming to a little piked position here. I'm just gonna center myself on my mat. Maybe just give them a nice good shake. And we're gonna take a passive forward fold here, so just let your legs relax. We don't need to engage through the knees or engage through the feet whatsoever. We're just gonna relax the legs. Let's just inhale to grow tall through the spine, as tall as you can this morning. And then exhale, just take a nice fold, and I like to take my palms and bring them to the ceiling so I'm not tempted to pull farther into the stretch here. So keep in mind, this is first thing in the morning, so your hamstrings and your spine are likely very tight and very stiff. And the stretch is really targeting our entire posterior chain, the backs of the legs, the backs of your spine, sometimes even up into your neck. So just allow this fold to happen, give in to gravity. We're making this a little bit more yin in style. We're being very passive. And we're gonna hold here for five more breaths. If you are in bed and you do happen to have a pillow handy, you can always bring that underneath you to just get a little bit more comfortable as well. Just feel that curving of the spine, that length happening through that entire posterior chain. Two more breaths. And we'll roll ourselves back up to take a seat, find a long spine. This time we're gonna engage through the legs and we're finding a little bit of a twist. 
grabbing the outside of your left foot. You can bend the knee in if you, if you need to, to grab a hold of the outside. Keep both legs flexed and engaged. And then you're gonna try and twist towards the left, extending the leg and the arm out at the same time on an exhale. And if the knee needs to bend slightly, if we're still a little too stiff through the hamstrings, that's totally fine. This is about the spine in today's class, so find that twist and maybe that extension here. And you might feel, if you're in that full extension, a little bit of a stretch into the outside of your legs as well. Just breathe into it. Feel this nice upright position of the spine. Now that we've made our way up to take a seat. Take one more breath and we'll release. Same thing on the other side right away. So bending through your right leg, grabbing the outside of that right foot. Finding your twist, exhale, and maybe extending that right leg out. Make sure your left leg is still engaged underneath you, so we're still flexing through the foot. Keep open wide across the chest, really reaching in opposite directions here. Feel that twist coming from your navel. Really waking up now. Feel that alive and upright spine. Taking one more breath and exhale let's come back to center i'm just going to cross my legs but you can come to any seated position that works best for you and just take a moment to sit up tall in this upright position and just notice how your spine feels after that flow do you feel long and tall do we feel any discomfort after that class just making notes for ourselves, not necessarily judging any sensation as good or bad. Just noticing how it feels. And then just to wrap up our class, I'll invite you to think of an intention, maybe one word or one sentence. Just framing the intention you wanna have for the day ahead. Maybe you wanna move forward into your day with a calm and peaceful energy. Maybe today your goal is to be really productive and check off a lot of things on your to-do list. Maybe today you wanna to move forward with gratitude for all that you have in your life and just really notice and fully appreciate whatever those things are for you. So whatever it is, just Solidify that intention in your mind right now. And we'll finish off today's practice by bringing our hands in front of our heart, bowing forward. Namaste. Thank you for doing this very quick AM flow with me. I hope your spine feels great. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. And I will see you on the mat again very soon. Have a great rest of your day.